no desktop audio ever. So always trying to come in with that. Bleep, bleep. Mm -mm, not today. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sava Tech once again, and welcome to yet another. This is new. It's a rumor video. I don't usually do rumor videos, but a lot of people are asking me on my thoughts for new hardware coming out, specifically as it pertains to mining. And we have a new rumor for the RTX 3080 Ti. This is primarily going to be super important as it affects miners in particular based off of the rumors of a downgrade that is going on and we'll get into it right after we talk about a couple things going on with the channel one i need to clarify once again that if you want to join the rocket chat you are completely welcome to but it is behind a paywall to block scammers spammers and bots essentially it's 199 for the membership link and then you can cancel that membership at any time and your registration for the website doesn't go away. It's at rocketchat.sonofatech.com. We have a mobile app with push notifications, Windows desktop app, Linux app, as well as accessing through a web browser. All you have to do is hit the join button, select the 199 option, and then go down, click the membership tab, and then the registration link will be there. It is a secret hidden registration link, and it is done once again for security and privacy at the end of the day. Also, I can't manage to chat to everybody that wants to chat at this time. So it's a good way for me to be able to slow down that influx of DMs because honestly, you guys have been killing it with the subs, comments, follows on Twitter and likes on Facebook, which is insane. I hadn't checked Facebook in a while and holy moly, there are too many messages in there to get through. We also have a ton of emails going, coming in. Uh, we have a couple of sponsorship opportunities that I'm excited to share with you guys. If you guys think that, that is, uh, there's a problem with doing any sponsorships, let me know your concerns in the comment section or in Rocket Chat. Uh, in Rocket Chat, I'm discussing which companies are offering sponsorships and so on for the channel, and I wanna make sure they are community approved. But without further ado, let's get into today's discussion, and that is going to be NVIDIA might have downgraded the 3080 Ti. I mean, come on. Come on. Of course they did. Of course. So hard to get GPUs right now. So here's the big deal. According to recent leaks from well-known sources, Nvidia have downgraded the RTX 3080 Ti from 20 gigabytes of onboard memory to 12 gigabytes. Now boys, for mining, this is a big deal because what is going to happen, the difference here between a 3080 Ti and a 3080 for mining Ethereum is gonna be basically nil. And essentially, the big pump that I was hoping for on the RTX 3080 Ti was going to essentially be that it had that 20 gigabytes of video memory and a basically more uh, bandwidth on the level with the 3090, but coming in at a cheaper price tag so that for miners, we would be seeing that 120 mega hash a second from the 3090 on the 3080. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear like that's gonna be happening with these reports. And I'll tell you why I believe it after we kind of go over this, but the GPU's FP32 core count could also be seeing a reduction from the previously rumored 10,496 CUDA cores down to 10,240 CUDA cores. Not too big of a deal. The 3080 Ti's memory bandwidth looks to now be landing at 864 gigabytes a second with a memory clock of 19 gigabits per second, leaving it well above, it says, comparative cards such as the 6900 XT, which of course we have talked about mining before. And obviously with the latest releases, as opposed to in the past where it seemed as if AMD was winning every single time when it came to mining cryptocurrency. Now we have the winner 
going to, of course, NVIDIA pretty much across the board. As far as like total hash rate and hash to power, there is a little bit more modification you can do on the 6000 series, which we've covered, that makes the 6800 pretty viable on a hash to watt, especially if you consider that price tag on the 6800 coming in at like, you know, out of the box, it, it came out at like 549 is what I picked mine up for. Now they're more around 600, but even at 600, they make a lot of sense. If you modify the power, soft power play tables, which we've covered on this channel, you can undervolt that thing to like 670 millivolts, putting you down to like 105 watts with 63 mega hash. Mwah! It's great, especially at the price. And that's kind of one of the things that I always miss with NVIDIA is we don't have any BIOS modification options, nothing like that. I'm sure you could push these cards like the 3060 Ti, 3060 Ti, 3080, 3070, and all of these cards that are releasing, we could probably push them a lot further if NVIDIA wasn't such a stickler, of course, on the modification options, which there are some more and more, I think, people looking at what they can do, obviously, You've had things like the keying pin card come with options to overvolt, undervolt, so on. BIOS modifications from there, being able to flash them. It's just the barrier to entry is much more difficult on NVIDIA for flashing and so on. However, it is getting more difficult on Radeon, hence why you see that big split of Linux mining operating systems not currently supporting 6000 series AMD GPUs. If you're interested in that, a talking head on that, there's some specific reasons with the driver and what AMD is doing with Adrenaline, which is essentially pushing more towards nvidia's kind of business model of not letting you do anything with the card you own unless they pre-approve it kind of thing at least that's how i view it but if you guys want a talking head video more in depth on why that's happening and where amd is heading with mining let me know there is also seems to be more rumors of mining cards coming from NVIDIA than more rumors of mining cards coming from AMD at this time. However, my outlook on that is those aren't actually coming anytime soon because at this point we have a supply issue, obviously. So if we want to look up real quick, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So RTX 3080 memory bandwidth. Yeah, so as you guys can see here, our bandwidth is 760 gigabytes a second on the RTX 3080. So in theory, which this doesn't, still doesn't really make much sense. We'll have to see. I don't know what the bus width is. So the memory performance here is going to be 864 gigabytes a second both the clocks are at 19 gigabits per second let's take a look at the rtx 3090 okay so on the rtx 3090 which is what i was more expecting the 3080 ti to be closer to it is 936 gigabytes per second versus of course the 760 on the 3080 and then of course now we're getting a report right smack dab in the middle at 864 gigabytes per second like i said my hope was that we were going to see 3090 performance on the 3080 ti for mining ethereum in particular this looks to be splitting it so if this rumor is true what we're looking at is probably around 110 mega hash a second or so and my feeling here is that we are also probably going to be somewhere right in the middle with power i would assume somewhere around 240 watts and so on we have some kiddos yelling mama just got home with the second kiddo from school so i'm going to wrap this up if you guys can go ahead and click the affiliate links in the description below that helps me out a ton hit a like share it out and i will see you next tuesday